I'm going to share with you the essence of how to start a profitable business and the certain rules that you must have in order to succeed. And if you master these rules, then you've got it. If you're new to the channel, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Rule number one, be able to separate hope from hype. Almost everybody nowadays, before they start their business, they go on the internet and they do some research, they watch some videos, and maybe they end up buying some course. Now be careful if you are that person because a lot of times there are some tricks involved. I'm not saying that all products are bad and all products are good. There are some good and there are some bad ones. But if you see something that is too good to be true, for example, a product that is full of hype, camouflaged by hope, with bunch of promises, with money back guarantees, and a promises of one push button success, for example, and getting rich overnight. That's a problem because think about it. If that's true, then everybody will be rich and everybody will be driving Lamborghinis. How to start a profitable business rule number two. Ignore all negative opinions. Don't let other people's opinions of you determine how you show up in the world. Remember, opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth. And it's a fact that close friends and families, while they're not meaning to do so, they often handicap you with opinions and sometimes ridicule. Thousands of people carry with them inferiority complex all through life because of well-meaning but ignorant person who destroyed they're confident through opinions and ridicule. And remember, each person that have a negative opinion that you listen to affect your success rate by 20%. Rule number three, stop asking for approval. If you want to be successful in your business, you're not going to find it by relying on other people to approve your business ideas. This is just not going to happen because everybody is going to give you a different idea and everybody, like I mentioned before, have some opinions. And what's going to happen? You're going to end up confused, frustrated. And when you're confused and frustrated, for some odd reason, your subconscious mind will stop working and ignore a lot of information that you are getting. So to be successful, you really don't need anybody's approval and you don't need anybody's permission. And if you need a permission, I give you permission to start being successful. So all you have to do is rely on yourself, be persistent, find something that you're passionate about and just go after it. How to start a profitable business, rule number four. You must have a mentor. Now I have read before in many places that you don't need a mentor, all you need just to get started and just that's all you need just keep going and things will happen to you well i want to share with you something that i usually don't share with anybody it's i'm going to tell you a personal story right now my life is absolutely blessed but it wasn't always like this i have tried so many business ideas none of them actually worked and so what i did is i started to attend seminars i took courses online i took courses offline I even flew to different states so I could attend, you know, business seminars, success seminars, motivational seminars, and still nothing really worked. Then I found myself in debt of $53,000 and I had to borrow money from other family and friends just to survive. What happened actually is I met my mentor in a one of the seminars just by accident. And he definitely changed my life dramatically. It changed everything to the positive in my life. And I really don't know where I would be if I didn't meet him. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because in case you are in this situation that I was in, I want you to be hopeful. I know sometimes life happens and you find yourself in a dark tunnel, but every dark tunnel has a light of hope. So don't give up on the things that you want, you have passion for, and if you want to start your business, you do have the option to do so. Now, 
just common sense let's assume that some people say that you don't need a mentor so i'm going to give you an example if you have an address let's say you want to go to a different state place you've never been before it's kind of foreign to you and you have an address for it so you have two options one of them is just to wing it basically ask people on the way how to get there or the other option is to put it in your gps you put the destination and I'll tell you exactly where to go and how to get there as fast as possible. So which one would you pick? Obviously, you got to pick the one that is going to make the most sense, which is putting the address in the GPS. So think of your mentor as a GPS because you just tell them exactly what you want. And that's what happened in my case. But it wasn't easy when I first got started. I'll tell you about it in just a little bit. But you get there much faster if you do have a GPS or somebody to guide you there. And that's what exactly your mentor is going to be. Now, your mentor is going to be the one that shows you the way, basically, how to get to where you want to go. Now, it depends on your objective or what you want to do as far as business. You need to follow the right mentor. And that could be online, offline. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes you can just follow somebody's advice. They've been there before and they are successful now. And that's the best way to do it. It doesn't have to be physically and it does not have to be online, for example. For me, finding my mentor, it was a little bit difficult because first in the beginning, he just didn't want to do it at all. That happened 10 years ago. So the first three, three and a half years in this business, I was basically lost, confused, and in debt. I did exactly what he told me to do. Most important thing for you to understand is that you need a mentor. Don't listen to the critics or some people that don't know exactly what they're doing. They try to tell you, just go blind. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. Find somebody who can help you get your success faster by taking the right path to success. Rule number five, you must be passionate about what you are doing. I can't emphasize that more because a lot of people, like I mentioned before, if you are connecting the dots that I was talking about, they listen to people's opinion. And usually those opinions are, hey, why not start something that makes the most money? Now, don't ever chase money because what you need to do is chase success. And in order for you to do that, you must be passionate about what you are doing. Now, remember, most people that have jobs, they hate them. They hate everything about their jobs. They hate their boss, their colleagues, and everybody. They even hate the commute to work. The reason for that is because they are not passionate about what they are doing. And they are working hard to make someone else rich. Now, I want you to remember also that success and money have a relationship. And always, always, money is a byproduct of success. For example, you look at Elon Musk, you look at Bill Gates and so forth. They all did something that they're passionate about and the money came later. Don't chase the money because if you do, you're gonna end up doing something wrong. So money does not mean success. Some people have money, but they're not successful. They probably got it in an unethical way or maybe they did something illegal and they have money. That doesn't mean they are successful. At the same time, have you met anybody that is totally broke, but he claims to be successful? Success is a way to get to what you want. So if you go after success, the money will follow. I have a bonus for you because you watch how to start a profitable business online. I'm going to go ahead and give you right now seven rules of how to become a millionaire online, offline. It really doesn't matter. The same rules apply for everyone. And this is very important that you need to adopt if you want to become successful. Seven steps of how to become a millionaire from nothing. Now, you're probably wondering, how can you become a millionaire from nothing? Maybe you didn't know that 80% of all the millionaires in the world are actually self-made millionaires. And I'm going to share all the rules that they follow, and you'll be ahead of the crowd, 99% ahead of the crowd. 
Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and drop a like. Millionaire rule number one, see failure as a beginning, not an end. And this is very crucial and it's very important to every single millionaire or billionaire because they don't see a failure as an end. They see it as a beginning, as a matter of fact. And because they do that, you can do the same thing. Now, a lot of people, they just stop on the first failure that they face. And a failure is expected. And I just want you to know that to expect a failure or delays in your success process. So... If you have failed in the past, that doesn't mean you're gonna fail in the future. And the only people that don't fail are the people that don't try anything at all. So maybe you might encounter some delays along the way, but not every delay is a denial. That simply means that you need something in order for you to continue. So don't look at delays as denials and a failure is to be expected. Now, I have known personally three millionaires that they have filed for bankruptcy three times. They dusted themselves off and they did much better than before. Millionaire rule number two, make peace with your past and actually let go. I know we all had some people that hurt us in the past that could be anybody, friends, family, it doesn't really matter. And it's so easy to hold a grudge, but each time you are holding a grudge, what's really happening? It's taking energy away from you to reach your goal. So it's hurting you more than hurting them. So it's very important. It's a rule that millionaires do. Like I mentioned before, they have failed many times before. They're not holding grudges. I'm sure somebody did them wrong in their past but they didn't do that. They dusted themselves off, they forgot about their past, and they started something new and they got going at it. I just want to let you know that it is true that energy actually affects you if you are holding a grudge. So be careful of that. Now remember, we cannot control people. We cannot control what they do and what they don't do, and we cannot control anything about if they do us wrong or if they do us good, it doesn't matter. The only thing we have control of is ourself and you have control of yourself. Millionaire rule number three, which is a habit. Now remember this, habit decides your future. Therefore decides if you succeed or if you fail. And anything that becomes a habit it is very good. And what I'm talking about is this. Anything that you take that you want to achieve in your life, for example, and it's like, for example, you do have a goal to succeed. And if you put it in as a habit, more than likely you will achieve it. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to you know, build some muscles and you do have a goal of how much you wanna build your muscles. Now you go to the gym once a month, do you think you're gonna reach your goal? No, because you did not implement it as a habit. Now, how long does it take for a habit to be accomplished? Usually it takes about 12 weeks, most of the time with some people, a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. So accomplish a habit that lead to your success. And I hope I made that clear. Anything that becomes a habit is very important to your success. The reason being is because we have a subconscious mind, which is very powerful, and it is a habitual mind. In other words, if you accomplished a habit, your subconscious mind will always support you in that endeavor. Millionaire habit number four, goals or your goal. If you don't go after it, simply you won't have it. And this is so important to every millionaire. If you want to become one, you have to have a goal and you have to be able to achieve them. Now you probably figured how all these things connect. We talked earlier about some issues about how to have a habit. And if you have your goal inside your habit and everything that includes your goal inside your habit, there is no way but to succeed. So make sure you have your habit and you stick to it and you do not deviate a bit from it. Remind yourself, write it down, do whatever it takes. Remind yourself of your goals on a daily basis. Invest 
in your success. What I mean by that is that a lot of people, and I had actually personally worked with some people that have accomplished some success. We did some joint ventures and they were very successful. The joint venture was very successful and we made quite a bit of money. But what they did on the first sign of success, what they did is, is actually start to buy all these worthless stuff that do nothing for them to go to the next level. If that happens to you, in other words, do not do that. Stay away from investing in something that is depreciating. The most appreciating asset that you have is yourself. And if you invest in yourself, you'll be able to go and reach the next level. So remember to distinguish what is asset and what's not asset or liability. Millionaire habit number six, avoid negative people. And I can't stress this enough because negative people, whether private or they are in your business, they work for you or they don't work for you, friends, family, or what have you, they affect your life. Anything that you surround yourself becomes part of your environment. Let me ask you this. Do you want to live in a positive or negative environment? So that depends on you, obviously, but the right question has been presented and the right answer is you want to get rid of every person who provides you or have an effect of a negativity in your life. The reason for that is every person you allow in your life that gives you or have that vibe of negativity affect your mental capacity by 20%. Imagine that every person who is you surround yourself with have a negative effect, it'll affect you 20%. So if you surround yourself with more than three or four, forget about it, you're not gonna reach your goal. Now, whether you realize it or not, it is very possible that they will have an effect about your goals or the goals that you have set for yourself. So be careful who you to allow in your life. Now, what can you do when you have negative people, whether friends, family or colleagues or so forth. Well, you don't have to say, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You know what you, the best way to do is just put some boundaries and just let them know I'm busy and make sure to set some boundaries. Millionaire rule number seven. And this is very important. Do not compare yourself with anybody else. This is the last thing that you really want to do. And I have seen some people, they do that. And what happens, one thing will come out of it, which is something negative. You can expect that. Now, I can relate to that because I had a personal friend who is a very competitive person and he wants to compete all the time. And he competes mostly with people that are in his niche. And he made his first million and his second million is based on a bet that he had with his friend. Now, this is the worst thing that you can do. Do not do that. I mean, it's not a race. You're not racing horses here. He became kind of like a little bit down. After I talked to him, I noticed that his friend is ahead of him. The reason for that is because he's comparing himself to him. And I asked him simply, do you know how much money he's got? The answer was no. Well, do you know how many people are helping him? Not really. Well, it could be an army of people helping that person, maybe friends and families and everybody, and that's why they're ahead of you. So do not ever compare yourself to anybody else at all. Again, the only thing that is gonna come out of it is something negative. Do not do that. Simply stay away from comparing yourself to anybody else. The only person that you need to compare yourself to is you. So if you have some comments, you have questions, or you have some other ideas, please make sure to share them in the comment area. I just shared with you the rules of how to become successful. Now, these are the rules that are so important for your success. Now, imagine, for example, that you are, let's say, playing a game of a soccer or football, and you don't know the rules. How do you think you're going to do? You gotta make a lot of mistakes and more than likely you're not going to succeed. So the rules are so important for you to be successful. If you want to know how to make money very fast through affiliate marketing, 
click this playlist up here. If you want to know more about email marketing, click this right here. As usual, I'll see you at the top.